sometimes when I mention a change in the way you speak about your finances, your finances change drastically and miraculously. I get that confused face or the sure, yeah, that is some BS type of faces. You know what I'm talking about, right? So today I'm going to dive in on how you change your words and actually can change your finances. So hello, Bumblebees. Thank you for being here today in this podcast, YouTube channel, Inspire for You, Cafecito with Bibi. I am your host, Bibi. And if you have not subscribed or follow, please do so. I will truly appreciate it. And also ring the notification bell to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. And I know this is something that I have talked about before, about the words, but it's just still, it's a little bizarre for me that some people still don't realize that the power of your words are what is changing your reality. And this is in biblical terms as well. For example, in Matthew 12, 37, for by your words, you will be, you will be justified or by your words, you will be condemned. So checking not just the words that we speak, but also our thoughts as they are not silence. So your thoughts are actually listened by divine uh, intervention, higher power, high intelligence, in my case, God, right? So with our words, we actually create the blessings in our lives or our courses. So, you know, if you feel that um, your life is not going the way you think or oh, like I'm not really good at this or with money specifically, right? So check on the words that you were speaking of. So when I heard this, I put it in practice. So obviously I didn't know anything about uh, love attraction before. I didn't know anything about the love operation, nothing like that. But um, I used to do my my vision board and I remember that I will go, I, I will wrote, um, affirmations on my on my vision board and I will put I want to be debt free right and I noticed that at that point in in my life when things start getting together for me in my vision board and including paying off some of my credit cards I noticed also that um when I got a a, a new job I start getting again uh, credit card debt and that's when I realized that it's because I was saying I want to be debt free so I still include the word debt into my words right so what happened after I realized about the whole love attraction love operation and things and things like that so I start changing debt free for financial st stability but of course, I did check in with myself what financial stability means, right? So I, I started like realizing that for me, financial stability meant to pay all my bills so freely in a way that I don't feel overwhelmed and that I like stability in my emotions, but also that all my bills are just paid on time, right? And also to have uh, everything that I needed to to pay off my my credit cards every month on like fully pay my my credit cards. So when I start using the, those words instead of debt free and I change it for financial stability, I start seeing things different into into my reality. For example, I I did receive a check from an insurance company because I got hit by a car. And it had been two years and they finally like, you know what? Um, it's been two years since the accident and they finally like sent me the check and they said, oh, well. So they sent me the check and I was like, oh, wow. So I received the check. And even though that check it was meant for me, I was not receiving in those two years because there was no space for me to receive that check. So I cleared the space. I got clear on what is it that I wanted. And with that check, I actually was able to pay off my car. 
and then COVID hit. And most people were like, well, I don't have, I don't have more income or whatever. And of course mine too. Uh, my income actually decreased, but I stay focused on what I wanted, which was financial stability. And just like that, a home landed in my lap. Like literally, I wasn't even looking for that job, but I got an email that uh, suggestion for me to, like invitation to apply for that job. And it was at the bank and it was uh, customer service working from home. So I apply, I went through different uh, stages of um, interviews and I got the job and it was uh, a job that I will get, I will double my income from where I, I had it. And, and also, um, you know, it helped me uh, paying off other, other stuff as well. Now, because this job was customer service and I was sitting down on a chair for the most, for the most part, right? So, you know, my story is that I was in the military and I got injured. I got seriously injured to a point that I will not be able to walk again. Or that's what the doctor said, um, especially if I'm not careful, but um, I had to be super careful in how I, I treat my body. And sitting there for too long at that job, because he was like back to back calls, guys. Even though I had 15 minutes to break, it was back to back calls. So I stay sitting for so long that I start um I start having um my pain in my back came back again. So what I did is that I went back to physical therapists and they did a examination. And of course, they decided that uh, it was so serious that when they sent the um, their findings to the VA, the, the Veterans Affairs Office, so without me applying, the VA actually claimed me as permanent disabled. At the, at the moment that I was claimed permanent disabled, obviously, my... Uh, my my income from my disability rate came also higher and I had other things that helped me along the the way. Now remember in one of my my YouTube videos, my podcast that I mentioned that I fired my financial coach. So this is another thing that another reason for me. It was not just the house, but also this was also another one that um from my point of view, I think he was having a lot of uh, lack of faith. And I did not like that. I just didn't like that. And I remember me saying that even though I had student loans because I was still in school, I didn't want to feel the pressure of me paying the minimum payments. Of course, I didn't have minimum payments either because I was still in school. But like, I didn't want to feel the pressure of me making payments on that loan. But uh, he pushed me and pushed me that I needed to make payments on that loan. And once and then I will send a payment. But uh, I also remember telling this um, this financial coach that I wanted to to apply for the student loan forgiveness for veterans. As a, a, another of the benefits that uh, we could um, get. And he was like, listen, you cannot just wait on that. Do you know how many people apply and they don't get approved? Do you know how this actually works? And you know, all those things. And me thinking when he was telling me that in my mind, I went literally like, do you know who my father is? You know, who my father is that I know that if I ask for something, I will get it. I went into into that mode, like, okay, you, you you don't even know. So, of course, that was another reason for me to, to fire him. But this is the thing. Even though I was doing once and then some of the payments, and it helped me with my taxes as well, this is the thing. One day, I received a letter on the mail saying that my student loan debt was, uh, my student loans were forgiven for being permanent disabled. And I was like, and, and let me tell you how the miracle happened right there. 
I actually, I actually didn't even apply for the program. So I just thought about it. I just thought about applying for it, knowing that, okay, see, if I'm, if I'm a veteran and I have a disability, so, uh, and I, I was already at 100% before the permanent disabled, I was already 100%, but um, I knew that I could apply for that, that, but I didn't apply. I, I was like, I'm gonna wait until I finish school. So without me finishing school, without me applying, I got that letter that my student loans were forgiven. So you see how they're changing your words instead of focusing on debt-free, debt-free, debt, 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 debt. I just focus on financial stability. And those are the things that I start focusing the most. And that actually happened to me. So of course, there's so many things that uh, I clear on the way because this is a thing with debt as well. It is so rejected in society. And if you go in the internet <clears throat> and you see people talking about debt and about credit cards, it is like they, they, their comments are coming like from a shame on you using credit cards, shame on you on using uh, credit uh, to a mortgage loan to get a house, shame on you for using an auto loan, shame on you. And a lot of shame and a lot of guilt we can carry with when when we are using our that that tool because at the end of the day it's, it's also a tool, right? But if you don't clear that as well, if you don't clear that those feelings of a shame of guilt, then you might find yourself also into into more debt or or you're not actually understand the patterns, you have limiting beliefs. There's so many things that go into it, right? And and this is what I have found out and that's how my uh, my credit, uh, like my debt went from 100,000 to um, 14,000, just by focusing on that and just by clearing that space as well. So clearing the space, allowing me to, um, one, receiving that check that I told you to clear out my, my auto loan and another one that I didn't even apply that it was a student loan forgiveness so if you have faith it really can happen to you and you cannot let someone telling you and shaming you that you should not even apply for that if you know you qualify go ahead and apply it right so um and this is the reason why I am in the works or creating uh a program, a class, a online class, if you want to, uh, online course, whatever it is that you feel more comfortable uh, calling it about. And I call it, it's, it's the financial fit action plan, but this is not just my strat strategy on how I I put down my credit cards for me to pay, um, to pay them off. Uh, but also I, I also teach you about clearing that space. I also teach you about the limiting beliefs. I also, we also gonna go through that and I'm gonna be giving you tools for you to clear that that part of you, the the patterns, the limiting beliefs and and the feelings of shame, guilt, or, or even um, there's so many other things that I have found uh, for me using credit card, right, that I clear. And I know there's so many probably others I'm gonna find maybe later. I don't know, um, but uh, but I wanna teach you the tools that I that I learned to do my own work on myself. So um, it's not open yet, but it's gonna be open soon. Open soon. Financial fit action plan. So I'm gonna put the link below, so you can sign up for the um, the waiting list and you can receive the notification. Uh, once you once you receive it and when you sign up on that uh, on that list you can get a 50% off coupon for any other of my courses that I have any other thing that um, maybe the initial call for uh, seeing me 101 as well uh, you can use that that code but um, this is the thing you can also um when you are on the waiting list, you're also going to to receive an extra 
uh, extra special for being on that waiting list. So I'm just gonna have a, a price. But if you're part of my Queen Bee community, my Queen Bee community are the ones that first that have the first option to sign up first before anybody else at the lowest prices that I can have any of my courses. And I have done it um, with a few of them. So um, just get on the waiting list. And if you want to sign up on the Queen Bee community as well, the link is below on the on the comments or in the podcast notes so you can see it. But um, I am so, so excited that you can actually join into this course because there's so much learning, there's so much clearing, there's so much forgiveness to yourself to do in order to clear this. And that's what I'm going to show you. Like I said, it's not just the strategy part. It's also um, that part that um, that part of yourself as well. So thank you so much for being here today, Bumblebee. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart, sending you all the blessings of abundance. And remember, it's a baby thing. You wouldn't understand. Bye. <laughs>